Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Harsha Ali Khan. So now this is the last video on short questions and MCQs on incomplete records. Last video I have completed up to 11 problems. So from 12th problem I am going to continue in this video. So watch the video till the end to get the complete command on the topic of incomplete records. So I expect every viewer is having the printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So before watching the problems, always you should take a printout from the link under my description and keep it ready. Otherwise, without having the problems, if you simply watch the theory and listen, then you will not get the benefit from these videos. So follow my instruction, always keep ready. So first you take the screenshot of the solution from the board, then I'll explain all the problems. See the 12th problem. A business provides the following information. Capital on 1st January 2016, $60,000. Drawings during the year $40,000. Capital introduced during the year $10,000. Capital on 31st December 2016, $80,000. So we are given the opening capital $60,000, closing capital $80,000. Drawings during the year 40,000, further capital introduced during the year 10,000. What is the profit for the year? We have to calculate the profit. In the theory video, first video I have explained you in a statement form how to find out the profit. First, we must take the closing capital. To closing capital, add the drawings. Then deduct further capital introduced during the year. Then deduct to opening capital. The resulting figure is called profit. In other words, we can do like this. Closing capital minus opening capital plus drawings minus further capital introduced during the year. Then you will get the profit earned. So here 12th problem, the answer is C, $50,000. So 12th problem, answer is C, $50,000. How we got it? I am writing the equation here. Note it down. So profit earned is equal to capital at the end minus capital in the beginning plus drawings minus capital introduced during the year. All the figures are given in the problem. Capital at the end of the year 80,000. Capital in the beginning of the year 60,000. Drawings made during the year 40,000 and further capital introduced during the year 10,000. 80,000 minus 60 plus 40 minus 10. $50,000 that is the profit earned the only thing you have to remember the equation this equation you have to remember next one 13th problem a business in this problem MCQ is there but no calculations only you have to explain which one which one is true a business has not kept full accounting records incomplete records which formula is used to calculate sales revenue in the last video, many problems we have solved in finding out the sales revenue. So sales revenue ke liye, the formula is amount received. Amount received from the customer. To this we add closing receivables. Then plus discount allowed plus minus opening receivables. If sales return are there, that sales return will also be added. But there is no sales return. So here the answer is A. For 13th problem, answer is A. What is that A? Uh, sales revenue is equal to sales revenue is equal to amount received. Amount received from the customers plus closing receivables. Closing receivables we add up plus discount allowed minus opening receivables. We will get the sales revenue. The answer is A. <coughs> Next one, 14th one. A business provides the following information on 1 4 2016 trade payables are 8000 on 31st March 2017 the trade payables are 10,000 So opening trade payables closing trade payables are given 
payments to payables in the year ended 31st March 2017 was $70,000. Payment made to creditors, suppliers, $70,000. What were the credit purchases for the year ended 31st March 2017? First time we are going to find out the credit purchases. Again, remember the formula. Amount paid to payables plus closing payables minus opening payables. That's it. The answer for the 14th problem is D. Dollar $72,000. Dollar $72,000. How we got? I'm explaining here. Dollar $72,000 is the answer. Credit purchase is equal to payment to two payables plus closing trade payables minus opening trade payables. Very easy. The only thing you have to remember the equation formula. Credit purchases. Credit purchases is equal to payment made to payables plus closing trade payables minus opening trade payables. So how much is the amount paid to payables? 70,000. Plus closing trade payables. Closing trade payables are 10,000. So plus 10,000. Minus opening trade payables. Opening trade payables are 8,000. Deduct 8,000. 72,000 is the answer. This is 14th problem. <clears throat> now I'm coming to the 15th one. <clears throat> A sole trader's accounts showed the following details at the year end. Closing capital was $20,000. After drawings, $5,000. Profit for the year was $8,000. And capital introduced during the year was $3,000. What was the trader's opening capital? Same equation. Here I have written the equation now. Same equation will write on. So we are not required to calculate the profit. Profit is given in the problem. We have to calculate opening capital. The missing figure here is opening capital. We don't, uh, we, we are not given. We have to find out the opening capital. Remaining all the other items are given. That's it. So answer is B, $14,000. 15th problem, answer is B. B answer is $14,000. How we got $14,000? I'm explaining here. Profit is equal to closing capital minus opening capital plus drawings minus capital introduced during the year. Same equation I have written. In this equation, only one value is unknown. That is opening capital. Remaining all items are given. Profit is given. The profit for the year are $8,000. So in place of profit, I'm writing $8,000. Closing capital. Closing capital is given 20,000. So closing capital 20,000. Opening capital we don't have. So minus opening capital. Plus drawings. Drawings are given 5,000. So in place of drawings I am writing 5,000. Then capital introduced during the year 3,000. So here capital introduced minus 3,000. Now take this opening capital to LHS. Right now it is an RHS. So minus opening capital will become plus opening capital. Right? Keep this 20,000 as it is, plus 5,000 as it is, minus 3,000 as it is. Now bring this 8,000 to LHS, RHS. Bring this 8,000 from LHS to RHS. The plus 8,000 will become minus 8,000. So 20,000 plus 5,000 minus 3,000 minus 8,000, you will get dollar 14,000. This is the opening capital. And 14,000 is for the option B. That's it. 15th problem completed. Now 16th problem, again no calculations. MCQ is given. How can credit purchases be calculated? Already credit purchase, how to calculate here? I have given the formula. Payment made to payables plus closing trade payables minus opening trade payables. Here, A option. 16th question, A answer. So credit purchase is equal to closing payables plus payment made to payables minus opening payables. Same equation I written. Payment made to payables plus closing payables minus opening payables. That will give you credit purchases. That's it. Now 17th one. <clears throat> From here onwards only short questions are there, not MCQs. 17th one. Why do sole traders not have to keep full set of accounting records? Why it is not compulsory for sole trader to keep 
complete set of accounts. Many reasons are there. One of the reason is the sole traders are not compelled by law to maintain the accounts. The law says it is on their own wish. They can keep complete system of records or they may not. It is not compulsory from law to maintain the set of complete set of books of accounts. It is not compelled because the business is run by the sole trader himself. Outsider money is not involved. He is running the business. He is taking all risk. He will take all decisions. So no other person's money is involved. So sole trader, it is not compulsory to ma maintain the accounts. The answer is sole trader are not compelled by law to publish their accounts. It is not compulsory to publish, to give the accounts to the public. They trade alone and bear the risk alone. They do the business alone and they take all the risk alone. That's why the accounts are not required to be published to the public. That's why it is not compulsory for them to maintain the accounts. Next one is what is statement of affairs in the theory video first video I have explained you statement of affairs is a document or a statement which listed down all the assets and liabilities on one side we take all assets on the other side we take all liabilities assets minus liabilities is equal to capital or equity so statement of affairs is prepared to ascertain the capital Capital is the difference between assets and liabilities. That is statement of affairs. <clears throat> Next one is, what do you get if you subtract total liabilities from total assets? What do you get if you subtract total liabilities from total assets? Simply means total assets minus total liabilities is equal to what? It is equal to capital or equity. Capital or equity. So answer is, Equity or capital is equal to total assets minus total liabilities. The next one is how do you calculate gross profit? We can get the gross profit by deducting cost of sales from the sales revenue. So gross profit is equal to sales revenue minus cost of sales. Sales revenue minus cost of sales will get the gross profit. Last and final question how do you calculate profit for the year the profit for the year can be obtained by deducting expenses from gross profit so we can say profit for the year is equal to gross profit minus all expenses plus other incomes if there is any if there is any other incomes that will be added but if there are no other incomes simply gross profit minus expenses we will get the profit for the year. In equation form, I will write down profit for the year is equal to gross profit minus all expenses plus other incomes if any. That's it. So totally 21 problems I have selected. Short questions and MCQs. In these two videos, I have covered up all the short questions and MCQs on incomplete records. So, so far three videos have completed. First video on explanation, theory of incomplete records. Then two videos on short questions and MCQs. Next video, I'll start the main problems on incomplete records. So, if you're satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video. Share my channel among your friends, among your groups, uh, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Inshallah, the main problem will start in the next video.